Hey everyone, I told y'all I'd make a short video about how to fix your bricked wink relay. If it's stuck in a boot loop, um, I've done this twice now with two different relays and it seems to work pretty well. So what you'll need, you'll, the easiest way to do this is to use the, the wall adapter. I have mine taped up, uh, don't judge, non-electrical tape here, uh, just so that I can plug it in and out of the wall easily. Um, wink relay, you'll need T6, a T6 style bit. Um, you'll take these four screws out and you'll carefully pry up from one side. <clears throat> I would recommend after you take the cover off to pry these up just a little bit. Um, all that they do is make contact with these. Um, but we're gonna focus our attention on these pads right over here. So um, all you need to do is solder a little jumper wire onto there so that you can plug it into um, what's known as a TTL UART cable. Um, you can get this off Amazon. It is, mine is a 232R and it's 3.3 uh, .3 volts. So plug that in, this top one is gonna be your ground connection. This is your RX and this is your TX. And so obviously these will go into the opposite. Well, ground goes to ground and then RX will go to TX and then TX will go to RX on your connection. So that just plugs into your computer. Um, what you'll do now, the easiest way I've found to power this back up so that you can start communicating is to put one side of this back on leave your little wire sticking out uh, put this back on and i'm going to move this real quick just to show you so you will see if you make a good connection that there is a green light in there that will show you that the wink relay is on okay so here we are on the computer uh, you're going to plug in your um, usb to uart cable and then go to device manager we're gonna find the port where it's plugged in, um, COM4. Then we're gonna open a, pu a program called Putty. Um, it's a free program, you can download it. Um, we're gonna do a serial connection on COM4. And this is gonna be 115-200. Um, thanks to the guys over at XDA Developers. Um, they're a lot smarter than me, figured this out, and uh, I'm just kind of putting what they've already said into a video format. So Fentina, and then there's also a piece of code that we're gonna use from, uh, let's see, Lock Hattie. So, and I'm gonna copy this and I'll put this below the video. Um, basically what happens here, the problem is, um, from my diagnosis at least, is that the Wink Relay somehow loses its Wi-Fi connection on a reboot. And um, I don't know why this is, but with without Wi-Fi, it refuses to boot all the way into the Wink Relay app. Um, however, the Android um, OS is actually running in the background. So what we do is pull that up, reconnect to Wi-Fi, and then, um, the Wink Relay app will then again work. So um, I'm going to open this command window and then I'm plugging the Wink Relay back into the wall. And you'll see we're getting a U-boot screen. I'm sorry, my screen is so glossy. Um, none of this really matters. What we're gonna do is just wait for a second for it to finish some of its boot up processes. And then in PuTTY, when you copy a command, you just simply right click to paste it. And so, let's see. So we're getting a permission denied on a UID. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this and see if it, if it works. So I'm pasting the boot menu and you see Android just popped over here on, on the on the Wink Relay screen. Um, 
So what I did, I pasted this command. Uh, basically, it's pulling up the Android launcher. And then from here, what you can do, you don't have a whole lot of options. They removed the browser um, in some update, so it's, it makes it a little bit harder to root. But you see here, Wi-Fi is off. I don't know what bug in the code causes that to happen, um, but we turn Wi-Fi on. I'm gonna connect. And then there is no home button, so this is you have to paste this command again. So that com that that command basically is a simulated home button. So we're gonna paste the Android launcher thing again, and you see it took me back to the menu. So now we can open the Wink Relay app, and there we go. It's asking for me to log in. I'll go ahead and do that, and then when you restart, everything should be good to go. So I hope this helps some of you out. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be glad to try to help.